I'm a consultant in pulmonary and critical care medicine and um, I've been involved in our asthma practice as well as our chronic cough practice. Chronic cough is a symptom. It's not a disease. Many diseases can cause chronic cough. So the philosophy behind the chronic cough clinic is to convert that symptom into a specific disease and then it can be treated. Chronic cough by definition means that somebody has been coughing for more than six to eight weeks and it's accompanied by a normal chest x-ray that patient should not be a smoker mm -hmm. and that person should not be on certain types of medications that can cause cough. We have a pre-visit DVD that explains what chronic cough is. Okay. It explains what to expect, some of the tests that are employed, and we also give a worksheet that tells them how to prepare for the visit. A lot of patients say, well, why don't I just show up? It doesn't work that way because a lot of people have had treatments and studies done outside. We think it's a waste if we don't tap into what was done before, so at least we know what not to repeat. At the same time, we can study and see how exhaustive that workup has been in the past. We also included a chapter where our speech therapy teach, would teach patients how to preserve their voice. Because when you cough, the hoarseness, the discomfort, it's, it's, the burden of the disease is very high. So when they come, they will meet several of my colleagues in pulmonary who are focusing on, on the chronic cough and we try to make it a one-stop shop. If we find an abnormality, we would initiate treatment. But if the situation becomes a little bit more complicated, then we will ask our specialty colleagues to step in at that time. And there are several philosophies in treatment. What we find is that by the time the patient comes to see us, they've been through a lot. They've been through treatment trial after treatment trial. They come in with bags of medication mm -hmm. and still they're coughing. And so what we do is then we try to establish a diagnosis before we actually treat. We also have a special program called an urge to cough clinic. In a small percentage of patients, whatever caused the cough may be gone. And they have this vicious cycle of cough generating more cough. Because they may not realize it, sometimes when you cough, you can generate up to wind speed of 200 miles per hour, a third of Mach 1. And so that shearing force can cause irritation and discomfort and causes a, another cycle. It's like a vicious cycle. And so this is where we try to intervene and try to address this urge to cough and how the patient interprets these biological sensations. In majority of patients, we are able to find that and we are able to treat and give relief. In fact, the biggest challenge we have is people stopping their medication. The minute they get better, the natural impulse is to stop medication and they call up six months later and says, I'm coughing again. And you say, well, what happened to your medications? Oh, I got so well, I stopped it. And you're saying to yourself, you know, certain things can't be cured. You can manage and control.